Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we're gonna find out if Monte Carlo is any good in PvP, if the new exotic ornament is actually pay to win, look at a build that brings Monte Carlo to the next level, and more. If you end up enjoying this video, maybe consider dropping a sub, as I'm trying to reach a thousand subs before the end of the summer. Thanks a bunch, and enjoy the video. With that all out of the way, let's get right into the new ornament. Now, Monte Carlo actually has four exotic ornaments, but in today's video, we will only be covering the Dreaming Clarity ornament in the base Monte Carlo. The reason for this is someone claimed the Dreaming Clarity ornament was pay to win, and I wanted to find out for myself. So for the first half of my games, I used the Dreaming Clarity ornament and used the base Monte Carlo for the second half of my games. I was surprised by how much more I enjoyed the base model of the gun over the Dreaming Clarity ornament. I think the biggest reason for this is the blue circle that rests between your crosshair and your sights. It made it more difficult to see players, especially when tracking. The ornament does, however, remove the iron sight that is on the base Monte Carlo, which is a big upside, but there is definitely more visibility through the side of the base Monte Carlo due to that blue circle and therefore I prefer the based ornament but I could very easily see someone preferring the dreaming clarity ornament as it is mostly personal preference and I definitely wouldn't consider it bad but I also wouldn't say it's pay to win now let's move on to a more objective part of the video how auto rifles are currently performing in PvP Auto rifles have been in a very interesting spot in PvP for a little while now, performing very well at the lower brackets of SBMM, specifically in 6v6 game modes, while also performing very poorly in higher levels of SBMM and in 3v3 game modes. With the exception of a couple 450 RPM auto rifles like the Amade R2 that still has a high usage rate in 3v3 game modes like Trials and Comp, while also having a high success rate in high skill lobbies. But Monte Carlo is a 600 RPM auto rifle, and both 600s and 720s fall into the good and bad lobbies, bad and good lobbies trope. But why is that? Well, even though 600 and 720s have a faster time to kill than 450s, it requires significantly more rounds to achieve that optimal time to kill, meaning your bullets do less damage a shot, which is a problem due to the fact that a lot of high skill PvP players are peak shooting. And if your opponents are dodging in and out of cover, you are going to want a weapon that does a lot of damage at once. This is why hand cannons and pulse rifles are such popular choices in high skill PvP. And I definitely felt this problem in my lobbies during my 300 kills. If there was an enemy player using a hand cannon or a pulse rifle and playing around cover well, I basically had no chance of killing them at all. But that isn't the entire story. Yes, 600s are in a pretty rough spot in the meta right now, but Monte Carlo still feels great. And when someone would actually just slide out of cover and duel me, I had a pretty good shot of killing them. But that was still definitely overshadowed by the lack of being able to duel good players using hand cannons and pulses. So Monte Carlo as just an auto rifle is pretty mediocre. But how is it as an exotic? Well, it's significantly better, mostly due to the fact that the entire exotic is based around your charged melee, with the perk Markov Chain giving you increased damage and ammo from reserves from melee kills. And the exotic trait Monte Carlo method, where dealing damage with Monte Carlo recharges your melee cooldown and kills have a chance to completely refill your charged melee cooldown. In my eyes, Monte Carlo is just a catalyst to make already existing melee builds even stronger. Stronger. Like Weighted Throwing Knives with Aisha's Embrace on Solar Hunter, a build that is already very strong on its own, when you combine that with the ability to massively increase your charge melee uptime and sometimes get your melee back completely after missing a knife, this weapon becomes so much stronger and so much more fun. I seriously haven't had this much fun in a very long time, and I'm in the upper tier of skill based matchmaking. I played Astrocross and Terror when making this video. But Monte Carlo relying on a melee build is both is. a good that and a bad thing. As when I was on Void Titan, I performed significantly worse due to the fact that you just can't utilize Shield Bash nearly as much as you can utilize something like Throwing Knives or Ballistic Missile. And at that point, you're basically just stuck with a 600 RPM auto rifle and a little more mobility due to the extra couple Shield Bashes, which, yet again, isn't anything special. So, with all that being said, what do I think about Monte Carlo and PvP as a whole, and how do I think the catalyst will affect it in a couple days here? Well, I think if you already have a great charge melee build in PvP, then Monte Carlo is only going to make that experience even better. But as just a weapon you're throwing on a Solar Warlock or a Void Titan with your fitting aspects or Dune Marchers in just a normal PvP loadout, then I don't think it's going to be very special. It'll just be a very solid feeling 600 RPM auto rifle that gives your melee back every once in a while. But do I think the catalyst is going to change that? Maybe. It depends on if it's going to one shot or not. And even if it does, we already have SMGs, shotguns, fusion rifles, and much more that already dominates the close range meta and PvP. So I think it'll be hard to use, but probably fun like this entire weapon. I had a ton of fun making this review, and there will be many more videos coming from me with the new season and beyond. So if you enjoyed this one, maybe consider subbing. Thanks for watching. I love seeing all of your beautiful faces and have a wonderful day.